I'm just sitting here just reflecting on the occurrences of this morning. It's very unfortunate. Um, I woke up in my bunk. I'm on the top bunk. And the guitar tech, John, was outside. So I reached over to touch his shoulder. And Andy, I accidentally punched him in the, in the face when I reached out to touch John. And I can't take it back. I'm just stuck with who I am now. Talk about ways to get fired. <laughs> eh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I almost killed Andy once too, actually. Oh. Um, so he sucks on these lozenges on stage yeah. for uh, his throat to keep it moist, like cough drops. And I don't know, we had one in. I went to rock out with him. I accidentally like bumped into him too much and it got wedged in his throat. Mm -hmm. He went backstage and had to get the Heimlich in the middle of the show. This when was on was his this? on his solo tour okay. in 2019. And yeah, like we had to stop the show. It was like a huge thing. There was like medics and luckily he was okay. So I can definitely relate to the almost murdering Andy uh, situation. It's terrifying. It's never fun when that happens. So it's always cool when your band's name can be out on the marquee like that in front of the venue for all of the city to see. It's pretty cool, um, never really gets old and it's really the dream, you know, and excited to be living the dream here today on tour with Black Bill Broads in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, yeah, thanks for clicking on another episode of the tour vlog. Welcome to Albuquerque. Just walking outside the venue here, ran into Ariana and Mari, the fans of the band. Uh, you guys recognized me and asked me for a photo and that was cool. It's nice to meet you guys. It's nice to meet you too. I felt so bad. I was like, I hope I didn't come off rude. No, not at all. I, I love meeting people. Um, so yeah, I'm just filming for my YouTube channel here. Are you guys subscribed to my YouTube channel? Yes. yes. You are? Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, that's awesome. Have you seen my tour vlogs? Mm -hmm. I have. Oh, cool. Well, now you can be in one, so that's kind of cool. Have you guys seen the band play before? No, this is our first time. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. I've been waiting since I was 15 years old to see you guys. That's what I was supposed to say. Oh, mm, man. Finally. And that's what I was like. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we could make it happen. Uh, I'll try to not mess up. No, like, <laughs> I know you guys are going to be great. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No, oh, it's going to be a good show. Well, so nice to meet you guys. Do you have a nice favorite song too. of the band? Are you going to Putting them on the spot oh, here. Um, I don't know. I've been really liking um, Born Again off the Phantom Oh, Tomorrow. Born Again, yeah. That's my That's favorite kind of off the new record. For the new record, it's Pink and Sky. And, but my, my main go-to has to be Rebel Love Song. I'm like, mm. Oh, yes. yeah. I like that one, too. Well, we'll be doing both of those tonight. Oh, nice. So. <laughs> right. Sweet. Cool. Well, so nice to meet you guys. Hope yeah, you enjoy nice the show. You too. Thank you so much. So we are currently right in the tail end of our massive U.S. tour. Uh, including rehearsal times, I've now been away from home for 11 weeks, so pretty lengthy, but the tour's been great, uh, having such a fun time. Uh, what is it, 48 shows in total, 33 states, and uh, infinite amount of good times. So yeah, it's been great, it's such a fun tour. It's really bittersweet that it's ending, you know, it's so many good times, but you know, at the same time, it, it will be nice to be home since I haven't been home in like, you know, three months pretty much. And it's been a pretty sweet tour so far. I mean, we're here at the tail end of it. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's been a lot of cool highlights on this tour. I think one of my favorite shows is probably, well, the home, my hometown show in Seattle because it was at a really, really cool venue, uh, the Paramount Theater. I used to go to a lot of shows there when I was a kid, and, and I still do. And so it was kind of cool to see, you know, be a part of a show there on a tour. Another really cool show was, uh, of course, Aftershock with Metallica. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that band, but they'll probably be going places. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of some of my highlights of the tour so far. My favorite part of the tour uh, was actually playing big venues, big venues, big arenas. Um, really enjoyed that. Really have a lot of space on stage because 
Um, you know, as you can see, CC has a pretty big drums right here, and it's amazing to work with DW and uh, Zildjian and all the company that sponsor um, CC. But overall, um, it's been great working with um, uh, Black Veil Bride Camp because all the guys in the band are very uh, laid back and uh, everybody knows their stuff, very professional. So that's probably the best part of the tour. I can't wait to get back out and after a small little break, get back out and see the rest of the world with these guys. It's been really fun. I think personally, my favorite part of the tour had to be when we got to play at Aftershock Festival opening for Metallica. You know, it doesn't really get much better than that in life. So if I had to pick a favorite moment, that would have to be it. But yeah, the tour's been great, you know. Um, this is pretty cool, so something I wanted to show you. So uh, one of the bands we're on tour with in this moment, um, they gifted us, uh, all of the band and crew, these knives that are custom engraved, the in-between tour, that's the name of the tour, and then it's got the name of all three bands on the bill there. So that's pretty cool, you know. Um, Definitely be opening a few Amazon packages with this. And then, yeah, it's got my name engraved on the inside there. You can see that. So, yeah, it's just a, you know, a class move right there. And we got them something in return. But, you know, everyone on this tour has just been so professional. And it's, it's always nice working with, um, you know, like-minded individuals who all just want to do a good job and make sure the show goes smoothly. No drama or anything like that. And uh, that's definitely the way this tour has been. So it's been really nice. And yeah, this was a really nice gift. So I just want to give a shout out to uh, the folks that end this moment for uh, being such an amazing band to tour with. And it's been awesome uh, sharing the bill with you guys. Are you, are you guys doing the yearbook? No, um, no, I'm not, I'm not even part of this. I'm, I'm playing a show over there. I'm just oh, that's cool. So filming. Is that what's going on with all the trucks then? Yeah. That's not, um... Yeah, it's a rock concert. Oh, it is going to be a rock concert. Yeah, awesome. we're doing the El Rey Theater. I'm so happy to see you guys being able to, to uh, tour again. It's good, yeah. We've been <laughs> off the road for like two years now, so Have it's... a great uh, show. Enjoy yourself. You thanks. look happy about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited, you know. Anyways, you guys have a nice show. Thank you so much. What's the name of your band? Uh, Black Veil vale Brides is the name of the band. Black Veil vale Brides. That's Black right. Black Veil Brides. Yeah. Have a good day. So I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who's been checking out the vlog episodes I've been making on this tour. I really enjoy making them. And, you know, I just I hope you've been able to learn something or, uh, you know, found them entertaining or just enjoy seeing a glimpse into my day to day uh, on tour, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll be announcing more tour dates very soon if they haven't already been announced by the time I edit this video. And looking forward to making more tour vlogs at that time on our next tour. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see in the future episodes. And uh, yeah, you know, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, other episodes are linked in the description of this video if you want to catch up, if you missed any. And uh, yeah, I'm Lon Eagleton. We'll see you next time. Take care.